So today I have a really exciting video for you all. As you may or may not be aware, a brand new trailer for Hogwarts Legacy has been released. So in this video we're going to take a look at the trailer and then we're going to break it down and talk about what we can see inside the trailer. I am going to be making lots of videos on the Hogwarts Legacy up to the release on the 10th of February and when the game release as well. So make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any more Hogwarts Legacy content. So without further ado, let's get straight into the trailer. Okay, so we have the trailer ready, so let's go ahead and have a look. I'm definitely really excited to see what this trailer is all about. Take this. Find them. Wow, it looks beautiful. Oh, that's a familiar character. We don't know what magic caused this. Definitely a sense of mystery. Very brave owl. Okay, I'm gonna have to talk over this bit. We'll mute this bit. Don't want no copyright now, do we? Okay, so very, very exciting stuff there. So in that very short trailer, there is a lot to take in and there's a lot of little hidden things that you might not have noticed. Now we're going to sort of break it down and I'm gonna show you the key points to what to take note of. So in the first scene, as you see here, it looks like it's taking place in the owl sanctuary and it seems that some sort of professor is giving the owl some sort of note and then you hear them say, find them. So that's a very interesting little part. And we have seen the outside of the sanctuary in previous showcases. And now in this trailer, we get to see the inside of the sanctuary. Now we do know that the owl sanctuary will be an explorable location which is something I'm definitely excited for but even though we know it's an explorable location we don't know how big of a part the owl sanctuary is going to play in the game I am wondering whether we will be able to use owls to send messages to other people like it's shown in this trailer I'm guessing we'll have to see when the game comes out or when we see some gameplay of the game now in the next scene we see the eye fly around the amazing grounds and honestly I cannot wait to explore every inch of this map so far it looks absolutely incredible and I really can't delve into finding the secrets and to explore every nook and cranny of it it is an open world RPG style game so I will be taking full advantage of that and exploring as much of the world as I can now as the owl flies through the grounds you can see a couple of students flying around on brooms now although unfortunately we won't be able to play quidditch in the game we, we do know that broom travel is going to be a key part of getting around the area which is definitely really exciting and a nice little touch so in the next scene we can see the owl fly into the great hall which looks as extravagant and as beautiful as ever and as it does we can see two gryffindor students so we're going to talk a little bit about them so we know the one on the left as natsai onai and she is the gryffindor companion so if you do choose to be in the gryffindor house then and she will be by your side showing you the ropes and I'm guessing that you'll be become very good friends. Now the other student we're not too sure about but there are lots of rumours and speculation and many of the theories say that that could be a Weasley so that's very very exciting stuff. And then also we see as the owl fly through the Great Hall we see a very familiar character and that is nearly Headless Nick. Now in the next part of the trailer is a very important part and they have been very sneaky in putting some key information in there but it's very subtle so we all need to listen very carefully to what the students say. We don't know what magic caused this. Now I don't know if you managed to catch what they say, but what they do say is Professor Weasley. And we can see many students rushing towards her as she mentions something about magic and not sure what has caused it. So I'm guessing there's some sort of disturbance happening. And now this could be the one main thing that we are sent to solve as a new student at Hogwarts. As we do know that the main storyline is that we have access to some ancient magic or we go to learn about some ancient magic and that 
our job is to figure out and solve a cause to a problem so i'm guessing this might be the problem that we are there to solve and cure and next we see the owl flying through the forbidden forest and on its way through flying through the forest we see two students fighting off spiders and one of the students we can see using a glacier spell which turns things into ice and then we see the other student using incendio which does the opposite and is a fire type spell so does this mean that there will be four elements that we can sort of pick what one to specialize in normally in games like this we have fire water or ice and then we have wind and earth as well so maybe we get to pick what one we want to specialize in so after making it through the forbidden forest we can see the owl encounters some more danger as it flies through the poachers camp and narrowly misses getting hit by a spell now we can see in this clip that they have a hippogriff tied up now we do know that poachers are going to play a big role in this game but whether that's through the main story or through side quests that's kind of undetermined as of yet but we do know that saving animals from the poachers are going to play a big part as we have learned that we can bring them back and we can nurture them back to full health and then release them and as a reward for that we are given some resources that we can use as we level up so it's definitely going to play a big part of the game and then if you think the owl has been through enough danger avoiding all of them we then see the owl fly past a great big dragon but there is something you do need to take note here is that as you can see that the students that are fighting the dragon aren't attacking the dragon they're actually defending themselves against the dragon now that's pretty much about all we know about this scene so it is very intriguing to see where dragons come in i'm definitely interested to find out more about that and then lastly we see the owl reaching its destination in london now we know it's london because we can see the big ben in the background and when it reaches its final destination it finally drops a letter and then it lands in the hands of a character which i'm going to be guessing is going to be ourselves as we are going to be the chosen one that gets invited to hogwarts as part of the main story so my speculation is that professor weasley is the one at the very start of the trailer that gives the owl the letter and then told to find us now i'm going to guess that we at the start of the game don't really know about the issues that are are occurring so i'm guessing we're just excited to be attending hogwarts and then as we go through the story we do learn about ancient magic and then we learn about the issues and we kind of coincide them together and to try and save hogwarts but yeah that was an absolutely amazing trailer there's lots of little hidden information there but not too much information there's still a lot that is left to our imagination and it's speculation as well so i'm very excited for when this game releases so we can delve into it in a bit more depth and explore all the secrets that are probably hidden within the world but as i said i'm going to be doing a lot more content on hogwarts legacy up to the release of the game and when the game releases so let me know your thoughts and speculations of this trailer and the game itself and make sure you hit that like button if you enjoyed watching the trailer and enjoyed me breaking it down don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any more hogwarts legacy content it's been kryptonite here thank you for watching and i will see you in the next video